So everybody, I was just talking with my good friend Jack here. Um, she said that I should explain my uh, theory on MS about PTSD. Now I know that's a very touchy subject because PTSD is 99% um, thought of of military. And it's understandable. They deal with something that I can't, I mean, most people can't even imagine. But I have something called PTSD because PTSD is post traumatic stress disorder. Not post military stress disorder, post traumatic. So, what I'm saying is it's very stressful and it's very traumatic when, they, when you're told you're dealing with multiple sclerosis. So, I really believe the shame that people start to feel internally and in their own minds and their hearts about dealing with the mess because they don't feel they're a normal working part of society anymore or you don't feel that you're um, giving what you got to give anymore you can't do this you can't do that and then when you start dealing with people who, who don't understand it like I say like a significant other um, boyfriend girlfriend husband wife whatever and they make you feel worse because they have to do more for you well it makes you feel even that much worse because of that it makes the what I call the PTSD MS even worse it will be in a chapter of my next book, my third book, too. Um, I, I just want you guys to understand that it's nothing to be ashamed of. You didn't ask for this. Nobody asked for MS. I don't wish this on my... Or I wouldn't wish this on Satan. Okay? It's, it's horrible to have this. Um, and that's something I work with Jackie with. I'm done her know. It's like, no matter how long you've been... I mean, she, she's been with it for 20 plus years. And no, no matter how long you've had this, it doesn't make you any less of the person you are. You're still a beautiful person. Just because you might have to or depend on a little bit of help here and there. Maybe wash the dishes. Maybe walk. Maybe you fell and it takes a little bit to get somebody to help you get up. Maybe somebody has to sit there and wait for you to get up. To help you get up. You get tired. It happens. It's alright. MS, it's okay, people. Don't let MS beat you down. Don't let the shame that MS wants you to project on yourself to be depressed. That's why I started off my whole campaign with No More MS Depression. That's why my first two books are No More MS Depression. I changed No More MS Prison because the depression is a, is a I, I believe it's a cell in the prison of MS. So that's why I changed now to No More MS Prison. Because the PTSD of this, it locks you. So no matter what happens, if you, you're scared of walking, because you're going to fall. That's, that's a traumatic event for you. Um, you're scared of going anywhere because you, you won't, you're not sure if you're able to make it to the bathroom. That's PTSD. You won't, um, you're afraid of uh, drinking before you go to sleep because you're afraid you might pee on yourself because you won't be able to make it to the bathroom. PTSD. It's, you can't let that stop you, people. MS wants you to. You got to sit there and get by the, get over your shame. Get over the shame. It is what it is. We did the mess. I'll tell you right now, I'll be the first to tell you, I've had those accidents. I used to have, with the hospital and in the hospice, Girls who were like 19, 20, 21, beautiful looking women, wiping my butt. Okay? They had to wipe my butt. I had to stand with my hands on the wall while they wiped my butt. Nasty. I had to girls hold my junk while I took a piss. Alright? So that will beat up your ego. But you know what? I'm not going to let that, what happened then, destroy what I, determine what I am today. So I'm going to... I will if I have to tell all the embarrassing things that happen to me to make you guys feel better and you guys feel better and understand that there is a PTSD that we deal with with the mess, then I'll do it. Um, fine, I don't care because I'm not going to be embarrassed. It doesn't stop me from going to the gym tomorrow or working out or telling a joke to Jackie or whatever. So guys, understand that that there is a PTSD with the mess now. There's no disrespect to anybody, anyone who deals with the military. I, I have so much respect and love for them. Um, the, the, what they go through is horrible, but also what you go through is horrible. All right, Don't let nobody try to get you out of this. Don't let nobody claim something and put on you and not put on you. You deal with what you deal with. That's fine. Just because... Uh, don't let like uh, don't let the uneducated about MS tell you who do the MS how you should be dealing with your symptoms of MS. Cause I don't believe that that you should claim something you don't want. So um just understand that there's no shame in this. You can do this and we'll get this together. Please hit me up. Um once again I have a bunch a bunch of information on my blogs at RamonHaranGarcia.com.
Ramon Hiron Garcia dot com. Hiron is H Y R O N, um, and and my first two books. It's info to to get people. It's how I got out of hospice into now. It's info to help people get beyond the the uh, the stigma of the stigmas we deal with the mess to let you know that you can win. It's not what the doctors say. Because they're going to tell you, most of them, not all of them, most will say this crowd, well, you're going to get worse. No, it's not true. You'll get what you decide you want to get. If you decide you're going to get worse, you're going to get worse. And don't let nobody tell you this crap. Oh, well, well, this doesn't happen with me because it's different for me. Well, yeah, you're right. It is different with you. Like, it's different for me. So don't tell me what I'm going to do. Just because you got worse don't mean that I'm going to get worse. Don't listen to nobody else but yourself. If you tell yourself you're not going to win from jump, guess what? You're not going to win. That's the PTSD FMS. That's my theory. Well, I would consider it a fact, but I'll say theory to you guys because you guys have to figure it out for yourselves. Anyway, take it easy. Ramon, no more MS to present. No more MS to present. Take it easy, guys.